I made the buggy car this time. Wow, it looks great. Cool, right? Vroom, vroom, vroom. I want to see this buggy car running at a speed of 10 meters per second. Say, these dots are placed every 1 meter distance. Then 36 kilometers per hour. Is it? Anyway, so if I say this game runs at 30 frames per second, and I want to see the buggy car moves from here to here, left to right horizontally, then I would adjust the X coordinate of the car by one third meter per frame. Run 10 meters per second. If it goes up, then increase Y coordinate by the same one third meter per frame. Oops, crooked. Run again. Go, go. Oh. The problem is, if I steer the car at a 45 degree angle, for example, and adjust both the X and Y coordinates of the car position simultaneously to move it diagonally, so 10 meters each for both the X and the Y coordinate of the car, then it moves the distance longer than 10 meters. If we want to move your buggy at the constant speed to any direction, then you need to take the moving distance as a radius of a circle. Is that called the Pythagorean theorem? Right. Let me draw a right angle triangle here. It would be a bit easier if we have the perpendicular angle at the bottom right corner like this. Or we still can flip the shape over to have it at the bottom right corner though. And this diagonal slope side of the triangle is called the hypotenuse. The radius of the big circle which is the speed of our buggy car 10 meters, right? Yes, 10 meters per second. And this right hand side is called the opposite side and the bottom is called the adjacent side. So the length of hypotenuse can be calculated like this. This is called a to the power of 2 or the second power of a or simply a squared where a is base number and 2 is the exponent. The exponent indicates how many times the base is multiplied by itself. For example, if the base number is 10 and the exponent is 3, then we can call it as 10 to the power of 3 or the third power of 10 or 10 cubed. It means 10 times 10 times 10. And 10 to the power of 4 means 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So for this right triangle, we need the adjacent length squared plus the opposite side length squared and... And then put that adjacent squared plus opposite squared and the square root sign like this. Then this will tell us the number that can be squared to make the number in that square root sign. So if I put 16 here, then it will return 4 if 25 then 5. Exactly. And square root 200 is around 14.14. The car was supposed to run at a speed of 10 meters per second, but it ran 1.414 times faster. That's what happened. And now we have this triangle a bit smaller than the one we just saw. Now this hypotenuse goes just to fit to the radius of this circle, which is 10 meters. So here is the circle and its radius. The distance from here to here in this circle, which is 10 meters, and its diameter is double the radius so 20 meter long yes and if we have heard of the number called pi 3.14 that infinite decimal number? Yes, an irrational number that references the ratio of circle circumference to its diameter. So this circle circumference is 20 times pi or 2 times radius times pi. Okay, then radius times pi equals the semicircles that have circumference. Yes, and the radian is a measure of an angle like pi divided by 180 degrees. So in radians unit, this 180 degrees can be expressed as pi and half of pi, which is around 1.57 in radians unit is 90 degrees. And we can use pi divided by four or negative pi divided by four to get 45 degrees. Why do we need a negative sign there? To make the direction count clockwise. The direction might be depending on the game engine and the zero degrees reference and the orientation as well. And we can code for the character's diagonal movement like vector two, x, y, vector two speed and zero, and where the speed speed is 10 meter distance for the horizontal movement and rotate this vector 2 speed 0 with the whole body by using radians uh, 45 degrees for example here so vector 2 speed 0 dot rotate negative pi divided by 4 if vector 2 rotate function is not available with some reason then we need to bring up the trigonometry functions which are called sine cosine and tangent in short we can write as sin cos and tan these are functions we 
provide an angle in degrees or radians, then they written the ratio of two sides. For example, sine 45 opposite over hypotenuse, cos 45 adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan 45 opposite over adjacent. Again, it'd be much more intuitive if we have a right triangle with this right angle at the bottom right corner like this, and we can use each first letter in cursive writing like this to memorize these functions. Sine 45 equals opposite over hypotenuse, cos 45 equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan 45 equals opposite over adjacent. Okay, then the first side's length is gonna be the denominator, and the second one is the numerator. Then what if we don't know the angles but some side length? Can we get the angle from side lengths by using these functions? There are the inverse functions like sine to the negative first power or arc sine. If we give those ratios, then they return the rooted angles. Cool! Can we calculate the sine functions manually? Well, I use a calculator. There may be some common angles. This 10, 45. Because 45 degrees right triangle is the diagonal half of a square, so the length of the adjacent side and the opposite side are always the same. And 30 degrees for another example. Sine 30 is always 0 0.5. So if we want our buggy car runs along this diagonal path, the unit distance called speed, then how can you get the distance to move along the x coordinate? Cos angle for horizontal x and sine angle for vertical y axis? Right. Cos angle times the speed more precisely. So if we have a variable for the rotation radius or converted degrees and the speed, which is the distance in number of pixels, that the character can move either vertically or horizontally. And we can apply vector 2, cos degree times speed, and sine degree times speed. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it just comes out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs>